Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be expanding our pickup system and we're going to be adding a little pop-up image whenever we're close to an object that we can pick up. This was suggested by the only one zombie gamer. He asked me to expand on my pickup system a bit more and add something where when you look at the weapon it displays text saying press E to pick up and then the weapon name. This shouldn't be too hard, it's quite simple actually. Right, first we'll need some kind of a UI image to display that. And the way this is going to work, we're going to have a UI image that we can disable and enable whenever we're close to, no to an object. So I'm going to go right click UI and then we're going to get a image. Right, so if you look at our game view, you can see that this image is right in the middle of a screen. So I'm going to rename this like pick up pop up and then you can change the color you can do whatever you want I'm going to go for like a grayish color and also you can see four values here RGBA uh, this is red this is green this is blue and then this is alpha which is transparency so you can lower it down so you can kind of see through it and then we can move this image with position on X I'm going to move mine to like 50 maybe a hundred yeah 100 works fine and then I'm going to decrease the height to around 50. This should be pretty good. And then the width to 120 maybe. We'll see how that goes, but uh, for now it'll be 120 by 50. And then right clicking on the pickup pop-up, we can go UI text to add the text. I'm going to rename this text to pop-up text. And we're going to need two of these. This will be the weapon name, the second one will be ne weapon name, and then we need to organize them a bit better. So the pop-up text will say, press E to pick up, and then the weapon name will just have the weapon name, and what I like doing is just putting like some kind of a sign just so I know where this goes, just so it's not empty for now. And then I will change the color to white, the color of the text to white, I think it works pretty well. You can use a custom font. I think this one will work fine. I'll increase my font size to 24. No, that's a bit too much. Maybe 16, something like that. And then I will move it on the x-axis to 30, I guess. And on the y-axis for like minus 10 or minus 7.5. And that should be in the middle. Or actually, let's just put it on zero and go back to the pickup pop up and set the width to something a bit larger, maybe like 150, but move it on the x axis 120. Or sorry, move the pop up text to like 10 on the x axis or 15. Yeah, 15 works fine. And the weapon name should be uh, beneath it. Let's change the font size to 16 also. It will be, it'll be 70 on the x-axis and on the y-axis it will be minus 20, minus 30 maybe, or minus 25. Yeah, this should work fine. Now we have this kind of UI element and if we play the game I think we should be able to see it. You can see that we have this pop-up right, right here. It still isn't showing us the weapon name or it isn't showing only when we're close to a weapon like this but we can do that pretty easily if we go back to our pickup script right here open it up all right so this has a lot of mess in it i'm just going to do this so just so it doesn't bother you, bother you for now but up here we have to say using unity engine ui since we're using a ui element and we want to disable it and enable it and we'll have to create a new element I'll create it right here. It'll be image, pickup, pop-up. And of course, I will make it serialized. So, serialize field right here. You can do it like this, or you can just type it out like this, but I don't like this one a lot. I prefer this one. So you can do it both ways. This just means that we can, uh, it's still private, but we can see it in the inspector and assign it in the inspector. Need to disable it. 
since we don't know, don't want it to be shown whenever we start the game. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, two new functions. One is going to be void this or enable first actually enable pickup pop-up and then we're going to need a void disable pickup pop-up. In the enable function we're just going to go pickup pop-up dot game object dot is act or sorry set active and then we're going to set it to true and then we can just copy and paste this here and instead of saying true we'll just say false. Now this will disable it, this will enable it, so in the start function let's just go ahead and say disable pickup pop-up and we're going to enable it whenever we're raycasting and we hit the pickup player mask or the layer with the pickup items on it. So we're going to go here and say first thing enable pickup pop-up. Let's go see how this will go. First of course we have to assign the variable so go to your main camera or wherever your player pickup script is and uh, we're going to go ahead and assign the pickup pop-up from the canvas to here. Now if we play the game you can see that the pickup pop-up is disabled. Now if we move here you can see that it pops back up but it still stays here whenever we move so we have to fix that. So here we're basically checking if physics raycast hits the pickup layer but we can just go here and say else if it doesn't hit it if hit if it hits the pickup layer but if it doesn't we're just going to go disable pickup pop up let's move closer to the objects here we come close if we move we can see that it's disabled so now it kind of works as we want it, but we still need the weapon name um, displaying and it's not doing that. What we'll create is a new variable up here that will be of course serialized since we need it in the inspector to assign it. It will be a text object called weapon name and then we'll assign this whenever we are raycasting. So if you remember Right here, when we, whenever we raycast, we get the item ID right here. That is the item ID of the object that we're raycasting to. And we can use that to go to our game controller, to our item database, and get the name from the object, for example. You see here we would get M4 and the rest. We're going to take this int ID a variable wherever we're creating it. We're going to delete it here and then uh, replace it up here so it's always created. This will be created only whenever we press the E button but we'll need it up here. So once we get this item ID we're going to go here and we're, we're going to say weapon name dot text. That is the text component on our weapon name game object. So weapon name right here and then we get the text right here and we're going to go equals to database dot weapons. We're going to give it the ID and we're going to go ID dot name. So those values are both strings so it should work. And again we forgot to assign the variable. So go back to your main camera or wherever your pickup uh, script is and weapon name set equal to the weapon name object in the canvas and now play the game. Come close, you'll see that it shows the name, here it shows the M4, here the double barrel, but it's not very well placed, so what we'll do, we'll have to fix that. So what I'll do is just go to the weapon name right here. So this is it for this video, it was pretty simple, but it still works and it's a cool thing to have in your game. And if you enjoyed or if this helped you, hopefully you can leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, tell your friends about this, maybe they need help with this. And um, hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.